Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome to what potentially could become a brand new series of Sim Airport. It's been a long time since I last played this game. It looks like there's been a ton of updates since I last played this game. And if you guys want me to turn this into a series as we build the Falls International Airport, then let me know by smashing that like button down below. I'm also thinking, guys, should we do face cam on this series? What do you reckon? I've never done a complete and full series on this channel with face cam. If I get too annoying, if I get in the way, just let me know and I'll get rid of face cam, guys. Do not worry. But if you do enjoy this, please smash that like button down below. And if you are new around here, then make sure you do subscribe so you are notified when those next episodes do come out. But we have been tasked right now with building the greatest international airport known to man. We have a million dollars in our hand right now and pretty much a blank piece of land. And with this, with a little bit of help from your boy and my ultimate building skills, we're going to create something amazing, a destination that everybody is going to want to travel to. So, I'm already spending money. 50 big ones on bus services. I haven't played this game in quite a long time. So please excuse me while I try and figure out what the hell is going on right now. Uh, but I do know we have the ability to get some government grants. Now, if we move in here, we can simply get set up the basics. So first, we got six tasks within here. Uh, one of them is to pretty much build a basic airport. So if I kind of accept this, I will get a 250,000 big one payment up front and a reward of 100,000 for completing it. And by doing it, I got a bunch of stuff that I kind of need to build. So, if I accept that, nice bit of extra cash money moolah in the bank right now, which is really, really going to help me out. I think what I'll do is we'll build a road that kind of comes in, turns around and goes out. So, we kind of do like a little U-shape as we enter in the airport, as this is the main road right now. And then we'll build our first terminal based around it. So I'm hoping in today's episode then we can get to the point where we're ready to accept our first plane. That's what I'm hoping for. Whether or not that works is a completely different story. So this is completely new then. So road, if I choose to kind of bring them in uh, this way. Oh my goodness me, roads are expensive. Right, if I go by 50, there we go. And then turn, do I do like a two gap and then go back out? Or am I doing a free gap? I do it based around that. That whole pickup zone there has determined my whole airport right now. So pretty much all that money I was just given is that I'm pretty much gone. Because I spent it on roads. I could probably, I would probably come to regret that. We just never know. We never know. So right now then. Oh, I wonder what that noise was. We have like a little light train going past us right now. Interesting. Very Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. So, we had down here then um, at least one airport gate. Uh, aircraft gate must be functional. At least one, one runway must be functional. Zones, a got you, a got you, a got you. So, we first then need to build then our first terminal. Now, how do we go about doing that? Is it a case of, uh, well, uh, is it like zones? No, I, I, I take it it's construction. There's sidewalk right now. Walls, foundation. That's what I need, isn't it? Foundation. So if I kind of give us a two-gap space where I can do like a little bit of a sidewalk, and if I do a 10 by 20 building, do you reckon that's big enough? Well, there's only one way to find out. It's going to be a very, very kind of smallish airport to begin with. So we've got the foundation down, and then we need to drop down the sidewalk. Now... All this is being built pretty quick. I remember back in the day that um, you had to wait for your peeps to build for you. Is that a thing? I can't quite remember. There is just so much stuff that we kind of have to look towards doing. Secure areas, sandbox mode, configure how you want to play. Ah, insta build. There we go. Turn that off. I was thinking for a second there. This is all being built straight away. That's not how I want to play the game right now. I think if, if it's just pretty much turned off by default in sandbox mode. So, good job we figured that out now before we go a little bit more too crazy. We've got the, um, the first building all set up. So, do I need to zone it right now? 
Um, well, we need to kind of keep it basic. Our grants say I need to get a functioning ticket and security zone and build a uh, functioning gate and runway, then build a functioning baggage claim area. So that is going to require me building a little bit more on the old foundation side of things. So if I go to here and then go across by, I do 10 as well again. There we go. That's how I remember playing the game right now, having our builders to do the work for us. Now, we have two dudes over here in the delivery area. We have no workers at the moment. So we got to figure out once again, how do we get the workers rocking and a rolling? So does this come on the operations panel right now? It looks like it does. Uh, maintenance, commercial pricing, runway services. Um, I'm not quite sure how we get workers coming in. Are these our workers right now? Oh, they can Oh, that's right. So when we build anything, we've got to get the delivery truck in to drop off the guts. I'll, put, I'll eventually reorganize these zoning areas. I will eventually reorganize them. But for now, we're just going to get all the basics all set up. So if I have a little bit of a fast forward then, is it just those two dudes right now that are going to build for us? It looks like it is. So how do I hire more dudes? How, is it staff? Aha, workmen. I remember before in the past, you had to kind of get like a contract to bring loads of workers over. So I could increase this, right? So we got five staff members all together. That would be a really, really big help for us. So while that happens then, we can then focus on doing all the other stuff. So I've kind of built this L shape right now because they're going to get off at the, uh, the bus here, for example. We go into here. This is where they get their tickets. Then they go through security. And then we need to build another little lounge area here before they get onto the plane. Then this section here is where they get off the plane, go and collect their baggage, and then go home. That's the kind of functioning that I kind of want in the airport. Whether or not it's going to turn out that way is a completely different story. But we'll, we'll, we'll get out to that, guys. We'll get out to that. So build-wise, anyway, I need to get some doors. Now, doors... Where are they? Objects. Decor. How do I... Is it, is it just easier to search door? Aha! Large glass sliding doors. That sounds perfect for me. Now, do I just kind of centralize it or do I create some type of design? And I could do another one there. Lots of doors, because we've got to make it as inviting as possible so everyone understands how this system works. And, right, okay. So doors are pretty much ready to rock and roll. We're still waiting for our builders, so we might have a little bit of a fast forward again. Get them slowly bringing over the goods, and before you know it, they're going to start constructing, which they are right now. Something else I just realized as well, the, the, the you have actual peeps. Before, it was just like weird bird's eye view people that used to walk around. But our workers are now doing what they need to do. I should probably hire some more. But it's probably going to cost me an arm and a leg. I think it is. I think it is. So, we got to get this all set up then. So, we first need to get the ticketing area set up, if that is correct. So, ticketing here. The ticketing zone is where passengers will go to print out their boarding passes and check in any large luggage that they may have. So we need this right now. So if I zone pretty much this whole entire room here for ticketing. Great stuff. And then objects. Not objects. How do I zones, utilities? Where do we find all of our stuff to allow people to do what they've got to do? What's that noise? It sounds like it's raining, but it's not raining really weird it's really weird uh, right so i gotta try and find all the stuff for this 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 then what would be kind of handy is if like we could maybe search like everything for the ticketing room that would make things so much easier to understand it really would so what do we need it what oh, actually do we need in here then so when i'm thinking about it it said it had the stuff where they can either print the tickets out themselves or they can check in any large luggage. So with that logic then, we have the cash register. We don't need that. Uh, the cooker. No. The vending machines. No. Flight display stuff. That would be really, really handy. But again, it's not essential at the minute. 
Um, is it ops operation? Uh, this makes it a little bit more easier to kind of use stuff right now. So we got the reception desk, which also could be pretty handy. The ticketing desk and the ticketing kiosk. So the ticketing kiosk right now, again, this is purely down to people who just simply want to buy a ticket and, like, you know, don't really have much um, baggage. So how much do them cost to me? Okay. So I'm going to... Place a bunch down there. I'm not going to do just yet the ticketing desk because doing a whole baggage system is on another level. So we just have the simple check-in stuff at the minute. And eventually when we start, uh, like, got fully functional up and running, that's when we can then eventually start having the more elaborate stuff. So I need to then delete these walls. What is the process of deleting? Is it just dismantling? Is that what it is? I think it is, boys. So in they come right now. We're going to dismantle those couple of walls right now. And then we're going to plan our little security area. So if I first go to the wall then. So I'm going to set up right now. So if I have this go across to about there. So we've got a free wide gap and then bring that up there. That's the corridor where you get off the plane to claim your baggage here. And then this will be our security area right now. So... Zoning wise, I then got to set up my security. So if I zone all of this here security right now, right, and there's a problem with that straight away that it needs the stuff inside of it, which uh, don't worry, we'll get it, we'll get it, which is then going to open them up to the main terminal section. So again, if I go back to construction and we go to foundation and I'm going to set it up like if I do another set of 10. And that then should be all the building work that I need to progress a little bit further. So while they slowly start to build that, it is nighttime right now, we can then build the uh, security area. So ops again. So we need the metal detector slash body scanner, bag scanner slash remote bag scanner, and ID stand. So ID check stand right here. Uh, we have that. Actually, let me see how big some of the other stuff is. So we need the, what was it again, sorry? Baggage scanner and metal detector. So here's the metal detector, and where's the baggage scanner? The bag, the bag scanner's just here, right, sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. So if I rotate you here, and I do one, two baggage scanners, we'll then set up, where's the metal detectors? At this, oh, can we not do them at this? Oh, whoa! Those metal detectors are a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be. How do I then move this? Um, can I not? Can I? Oh, cancel project. There we go. I was thinking it for a second. How, how do I cancel this? I want to kind of set it up like an actual airport. You know, because I, I am low key trying to build an actual airport. <laughs> and that's have the metal detector here. And so if I then build a baggage scanner next. Okay, it's not going to work the way I want it. It can work the way I want it. You know, don't get me wrong. But I have to kind of change because I need... Someone's got to stand there and actually be on the actual thing. But I can set it up like this. So, baggage scanner, metal detector as they walk through. I think we only need to get, like, you pretty much utilize one at the moment. I think that would be kind of the, the best way for it. So, that's there. What was the other thing we need again? The ID check stand. Yes, to check their passports. So, ID check stand right now. So, if I had that, let's say, for example, um,. Here, we'll do it there. Oh, it is actually raining. I can actually see the rain. Then construction, I'm going to do a little bit of a wall just there. And is there any way I can do like like some type of like, oh, cues? That's interesting. Do I, do I, I'll, I'll wait for that stuff to be built. So it's a bit of a funky looking security area at the moment i do have to make it a little bit better but as of right now that we should be able to um, work with this 
So if I then go across by three there, just dismantle that area to open up this area. We'll also dismantle that little section here. And then walls will also... Well, i got to wait for them to finish them foundations, really, haven't I? But they've done a pretty good job. Our workers are doing a pretty good job so far. So which means I can then go into this area, which will bring that up to there. And that will be the exit area to go out. So security is all pretty much set up. It's not the best looking system. So I'll put it back into play mode right now. Uh, baggage scanner. Uh, assigned to... No, cancel. Um, so where was that queue system? Queues. Now, can I add a queue? So expand the queue, shrink a queue, visualize queues. Show stuff there. Now, does that work to the queue? Does it work in that sense? I don't know if it does. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, don't delete that. How do I shrink a queue? How do I get rid of a queue? Assign. Unassign. This is um, way above my knowledge of the game. There we go. I think I'll just... I'll just build the airport and then see how it happens. <laughs> I, this is what I mean. Like, I feel like, well, like last time I played this game, I completely mastered it. Now I don't know what I'm doing. I honestly feel like that. So we've got the security all set up then. Which does require then us hiring a... Uh, well, it te technically I need three security officers right now. So get them in so they can work there. We also need to do a baggage claim area. So we'll get this kind of set up over here. And then I know then after that all it's going to need is everything for people to get on and off the plane. So baggage claim area. There we go. And... Right, so in a baggage claim area... All we kind of need is the carousels. Now, the problem is you also need to do all the um, stuff for it. Like all the underground stuff so that the, the bags can be kind of bring, brought over. But I, I don't need to technically do it at the moment because right now I'm not accepting any baggage which is going to be a problem for people who are arriving here from other airports who maybe put baggage on the plane but again we'll we'll get to that issue when we get to that issue so we've got that all set up then very basic setup right now like, like and i mean a very very basic setup so now then we're looking at getting all the stuff for the aircraft up and running too so objects um where, now this is the thing okay so does it fall under ops no structures yes so we're probably going to go for small aircraft to begin with look okay, and that's meant to be small that's extra large holy moly right what way does it go so i'll take it it would have to go this way that's small no this is this is meant to be the small one that's meant to be the small one we're in trouble but this is a very basic airport to begin with. Until we start making some serious cash, this is just literally how how we have to roll. So security's got more issues again. I'll place that down right now. So what's the issue right now for the security? So do we will we ever find out? Will it tell us? Ah. I we're okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're okay. I don't know, guys. I'm panicking already. So what's it like around Grand Zen? So we're 67% away to kind of completing it. We've got to build a functioning gate and a runway. So let it do what it's going to do. Flight management. We don't have anything coming in right now. I've also tried to get real aircraft names from around the world as well. So that's going to be interesting. That's going to be truly interesting right now. So the vehicle's coming in right now to drop off the goods to kind of build all of this. I've tried to keep it as minimal as possible so we can save some money. Now, do I build a secondary one of these or do you reckon one's going to be enough for now? One could be enough for now. Let's have a little fast forward then so hopefully they can get that done. So once they got all this done, I then need to go on to then build eventually a runway, the taxi kind of stuff to it as well. All that kind of jazz. But this is 64% done. We need some more goods apparently. 
They're dropping off some more goods. Dude's coming in right now to finish off the build. There we go. Beautiful. So requires a secure area. Is this not secure enough? We kind of have to build like a fence going around, don't we? Now, uh, requires at least one gate agent. I know all that stuff that we've got to do. Um, taxi in front. So let me get all this up and running first then. So we've got to build a door to this area. So objects, structures. Right, I should really figure out where the doors are coming from. Tools, no. Roads, no. Floors, no. Planning, no. Zones, objects. It should fall under objects. Is it decor for a door? No. Uh, ups. Yeah, okay. Okay, it is doors here. So sliding door just there so they can get into this area. And then what did we need again? Sorry, we needed a uh, gate agent desk. So that's where you then like show your boarding pass as you're about to get onto the plane. So a gate agent desk. So I've just realized this is all in alphabetical order, which makes so much more sense for us. So drop you there. Once that's built, you're then going to link it up to it. And then we need, requires two adjacent taxiway in front. So two taxiway. Would that fall under construction? Yeah, bam, bam, there. So if I brought this up to here, and then, which is the cheaper of the runways, the asphalt runway right now? So if I went 100,000, what are we saying? That good enough? Oh, no, oh, no, 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 cancel project. I was meant to be building taxiways. So that's because my, there goes my runway. It's there. It's set up again. Basic. I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. But there you go. So we can't do directions just yet. It's as simple as that. I'm going to wait for the goods to be dropped off once again. But we get it there. We're, we are so close to finalizing the last few steps of having a somewhat functional airport. I won't, don't quote me on functional just yet because <laughs> I feel like this is going to go downhill so quick. Um, right, they're working away then. It's probably going to take them quite a long time to get all this done, to be honest with you. The weather's taking a turn again, which is not nice. Um, but yeah, we're getting it done. So it requires to be the secure area. I know that. I know that. I know that. I know that. So secure area. Um, how do we throw it in a secure secure area? Well, I've also got to put a door there as well. Is it just a case of I've got to build a fence going around it? Is that what it is? Fence. Yes, I believe it is. So what I'll do is I'll bring the fence down to here. Bring it all the way up to... I'm hoping it doesn't clip the edge of the airport, which it shouldn't do. There. Man, this is expensive. There we go. Also, why is it so slow to kind of to move about? I don't know. And I'll take the fence from here. And all the way up. To there. So that then is then within, it's going to be within a secure area. And the reason it makes it a secure area is because the, to access it, the only way to access it is going through a security checkpoint. Now, it might change when they put a door here. But I'll wait for that. I'll wait for that moment. We've now got to hire a, a kind of agent or a member of staff for the uh, the gate checking desk just there. But we're almost there. We're so close. We're so close. So they actually got to build the runway. Now, do I hire, a f like, say, 10 more workmen? I can always fire them. I can always fire them after. Just get an extra 10 peeps right now. 
that can um, slowly, you know, progress to maybe building the fence or just kind of help us along our many, many tasks that we have available. So while they do that, then I'm going to try and familiarize myself now then with everything else that's going on. So my credit is good at the minute. I haven't really borrowed anything. We can apply for a loan if needs be. My airport value at the moment is 1.6 million. Can I just cash out now and call it a day? <laughs> but uh, it'll be worth so much more money in the long run once we start making money. It really, really would. So I'm now focusing on building. What's wrong with the runway? It run, uh, takes away connect both ends. Oh, have we got to do a different type of connection for it? I have a taxiway connected. When it says connected at both ends, does it mean like it literally has to be at the end? Uh, is that the case? Is that what it meant? And then why can't I add one in here? I'm a little bit confused. I'm a little bit confused. I gotta be careful because I'm getting to the point right now where this stuff is really expensive to kind of adjust and move about. So, can I not place it because of the fence nearby? Is that what it is? It can't be, can it? Well, we'll wait anyway. So, uh, requires a secure area. Again, we're still waiting for that. Requires one gate agent. Oh, yeah, I've got to assign this gate to it right now. So, assign to you. Did that work? Um, there we go. That should now be working. Requires a secure area. Requires being secured by one or more security zones. Which it is. Again, it is. But it's because this fence is not finalized that you can technically walk around the fence and get in the door that way. Which is why it's still requesting a secure area. So we're getting there. We're getting there, guys. This game can be stressful at times. It it really can be stressful at times. But the fence is almost done. Right. That should now be done. Which now, this is no longer complaining that it's behind. Well, that is, well it's now no longer complaining it's not secure. It's now 100% secure. So now we're going to wait for them to just figure this kind of system out then. So the issue with the runway is I, I, I take it it has to be at the end. I thought it could, you could pull it anywhere. Turns out no by the looks of it. So problem is can't add anything in here. So we're going to have to quickly dismantle this to replace in the taxiway. And are you telling me we can't do it because of the nearby street? Are you for real right now? That's really annoyed me. Because now we have to dismantle this and then move it. Well, not move it. I can reposition it. I haven't got to build it as big as before, but it's just so expensive. It's so expensive. I'm hoping I could, like, you know, recycle dismantling it. Because I'm going to make it the full length of just the simple taxiway. We, we might as well also dismantle that as well. So it takes a while to dismantle it because it's such a big item. So then runway. Are you for real? Apparently it's now too close to this fence. Right, dismantle that fence as well. See what I mean, guys? We were doing so good. <laughs> we were doing so good. And then, it's nothing that we can't resolve. But that's a pain, isn't it? That really is a pain. So dismantle the remaining bits of that. And then I can then build a runway across. Very small runway. And then we can get our fence back in. I know. Amazing. Amazing. I've already forgotten where we got our fences from. They're here. So, hold on. Before we go any further. Okay, requires a, a secure area. Okay. We know what the issues are now at this point. 
Right, after spending a million dollars on fences, we're almost there. We're almost there, boys. So let them build that then. And then we'll see what issues remain in your boy's airport. So as of right now then, somebody can arrive, they can buy a ticket, they can go through security, they can check in at the gate area with their ticket to get on a plane. The plane can then taxi to the runway and take off. At this moment in time right now, I feel like we are good to go. Only problem is we don't have a door for the baggage area. And once I do add a door for the baggage area, do we then become unsecure again? That's my next question. So we've got to wait for this. Oh, look at that. Runway length too short for any aircraft. Right, pause. Pause for a min. Right, cancel project just there. <sighs> never happy. This game is never happy. Right, cancel project here. Right, now we got to dismantle this. This game is never happy. Right, fast forward now. Why didn't you tell me there was a minimum? It probably does tell me there's a minimum length. Um, requires eight. We done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, what? Hmm. Seems a little bit too sus, if you ask me. Told you guys. Nothing but headaches with this game. Nothing but headaches. <laughs> if I was a pro airport builder, I, I should know this. But it turns out, no. So I've now got to dismantle this again. Just because I obviously do not know what I'm doing. Which then means dismantling these two. And then hopefully we know what we're doing at this point. So now we've got to wait 20 years for this to now happen. So. Yeah. Oh, it shows you there. So as I get to here, that's where I had it before, right? No aircraft. There, it shows you all these aircraft are suitable. And then going by that length adds a few more in. Ah. So there's me thinking that this game is trying to trigger your boy. Turns out your boy is just dumb. Right, do apologize, guys. We'll get there now. <laughs> and also get the fence in as well. Oh, what a shambles, Sadiac! What a shambles right now! Right, there we go. Sorted, mate. So let them do what they've got to do. I ain't getting involved no more. I ain't getting involved. So I remember, if I remember correctly, there was like a, a, a thing, like a, a gate, that they had to walk through to leave a secure zone to go to the baggage area. If I'm correct in saying so, that's what I remember. And but I'm not sure what it was what it was called. Security gate. Secure area boundary. This allows passengers to transition to non-secure areas. This is what it was. I remember it being like a, a like a better version of it. But we're adding free there. And then I can add beautiful sliding door. Where's the big one? Is it called like a large sliding door? Yeah. Rotate, one there, one there. So, until they're built, I think this will still be classed as not a secure area. Oh, but then again, they haven't finished a fence. They haven't finished a fence. So, with 120,000 left in the bank, I think we spent like 1.2 million. Well, we had 1.2 million, right? I think so. And we've always spent all that money. This is scary. How much money I've spent and not a lot to show for it. <laughs> so I'm hoping we can start making some sweet cash. Please. Please. Plain guns. Bless your boy with some sweet, sweet cash. Which good though. I'm, I'm up for the challenge. I really am up for the challenge right now. So. Without further ado. Oh, oh. We just completed that grant as well and got an extra 100,000. Yes, boys. So right now then. I'm ready to go. The runway is good to go. This is good to go. We, it's very, very basic, which means I'm now going to try and save a little bit of money by getting rid of some, some members of staff. I'm going to reduce it down to three members of staff right now. Save some money on the old day. And are we good to go? 
I mean, we still got a few more bits and bobs got to build there, but I think we might be good to go. So if I go to then the operations panel, commercial pricing. Okay, I won't mess with any of that just yet. Flight statuses, nothing's coming in because we don't have any planes. But yeah, nothing's going to get no planes. So flight management, we need to get some planes on the go. So who? Who do we who, who do we get first then? I can go United Airlines. I can go Ryanair. You know, that budget European airline company. Rating is a 35%. I'm not surprised. But I can accept one plane, right? We can negotiate the current deal. I'm just going to accept it. Accepting Ryanair, new flights. Now, we can position where we want them. 6 a.m. So these are a.m. flights. So it tells you what time they can kind of come in. We'll go for United. Where's United gone? United Airlines will um, will it accept some an and p.m. I mean, it means afternoon, right? Oh, can we not do p.m.? Oh, that's something else I remember as well. Like um, you have to. Yeah, you have to upgrade your stuff to be able to do other stuff. But if I accept two of those and then another morning one, I'll be able to get you there. You there. I've got to stagger them as well. That's something else we've got to do. Just in case there's any delays, then we're all good. So I've got four planes that could potentially land today. Right now, when's this? Is this today or tomorrow? Um, right now, it is 12 p.m., which is going into afternoon time. So I'm not too sure when the plane is actually going to arrive. And we also need to kind of figure out as well how all this works with the droppings off of people. So if I fast forward them, see how this works. We are... I don't know whether this is today or this is going to be tomorrow. But we need... Um... I mean, that should be now. So is this tomorrow? Is that how it works? I think so. I could be wrong. There's no way it tells me that this is tomorrow. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, right, okay, so... While we're waiting for anything to actually happen then, we can go to the government grants. So we've done the basic stuff then, the passenger experience. So this will be very, very important then. So this would be hiring at least two janitors, placing 10 litter bins, having a uh, satisfaction environmental rate of at least 60%. Nice. And by doing that, we gain only a small payment, but it's something that we can work towards, right? Oh, there's lots of levels of it. I just realised. Hold on, we have a, this one as well. Mm. Right, we're we're doing this one now. Buy two ticket and kiosks and three normal XL displays. We'll get to that point eventually. But I'm just waiting for my first set of passages to arrive. Really, that's literally all I'm pretty much doing. So XL the flight displays. These are very very big. So do I have it central? How much are these, by the way? I can have these huge flight displays central as they walk into the door. What else is required for that government grant? And then schedule at least five flights. Okay. Okay. So flight management then. Is there any morning flights? No. No. And that's because I need to have a um, runway with lights on board. Now, if I was to upgrade that runway with lights on. Upgrade. Uh, 20,000. Runway lights, 25,000. Must be properly aligned with the runway. Does that mean I can now accept nighttime flights? I think it might, I might be able to. 
but I don't have any PM <laughs> or early morning flights coming through anyway, so it makes no difference. That's when you need the big jumbo jets. The big planes. So, got some lights on there anyway. There was no point me spending that, because I, I should have checked if I had the, 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 the planes to be able to land at this time. Turns out the answer is no, Sediac. No, 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 no. But I'm hoping this, this day is going to bring us some, some good fortune. So, objects, comfort. Should we get some benches down right now? So, benches. We'll get a set of four. So, this is where people are going to be sitting. Waiting for the planes. So, if I go... Bam. Bam. There are a couple of sets of chairs there for people coming in. Could be handy. Um, place a little flight display stand just there. Maybe do a little bit of garbage. Just there. Throw some garbage trash can just there. Why not? I know I've got to do like a restroom, bathroom eventually at some point. But I just really want to see passengers coming in. Once I see them coming in, then I know it's fully functional. Then I can go, yes. Or no. It's going to be one of those, isn't it? It's going to, it's going to be one of those. Uh, right. So, okay. So when was that first one meant to be coming in? Um, 6 a.m. is when it's meant to be coming in. Yeah. So it's currently free right now. So it, oh, there we go. We got off. Okay, passengers are arriving. Yeah, I, I forgot for a second there. Passengers arrive like a few hours before the plane is due to disappear. So this is gonna be interesting right now then because I don't have any queue formations all set up. So they buy a ticket, they go through security right now to get their, their hand luggage checked because we don't have proper baggage. There we go. That dude is um, lost. I'm not sure what he's meant to be doing right now. Um, but at some point, we should have the plane landing. More people are now arriving. This makes me really, really excited. Does this mean they're making money? When, at what point do we get the money? Is it when they get on the plane? Is that when I get the money? I reckon they're waiting for the next plane. Oh. I thought that was the plane then for a second. So, just got to wait right now then for the plane to actually land. So, now it's at 6am. I don't know if that is like takeoff time. Or if that is when the plane arrives. Oh my goodness me, that scared me. That legit scared your boy. Uh, right, okay, so everyone's got to get off the plane. There is baggage unload. There's no baggage coming off. I don't think anyone's getting off the plane, to be honest with you. Oh, no, they are. Sweet, okay. So all these people are getting off right now. So at what point do I make the money? They're all dispersing in different directions. They're all sitting down. Pretty much. So do I get do I make the money when they get on the plane? I can't remember how we made it previously. I think it was when they got on the plane. So no income just yet, I believe. They're all now skedaddling out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who are you? Are you the doobie baggage? <laughs> That was weird. That was really weird. Right, a little fast forward then. They're now we're going to go home. There literally isn't... Okay, maybe there is some baggage to collect. But where's the money at? Where's the money? What are we now waiting for? Boarding. There's a few more people to board, apparently. Are they running late? What seems to be the issue? There's so many people here right now.
Are they lost? What seems to be the issue with this plane? Um, highlight passengers. Oh my goodness me, they're all still in here. What are you doing? What are you confused about? Missed my flight. I know you missed your flight. You didn't get here in time. It wasn't my fault. The plane's leaving without you. I mean, is that down on me? I don't know. I don't know. But once the plane takes off, is that then where we make our money? So, off the plane. Yes. 400. Well, 400 for using the plane. Is that the only money I got coming in? Nobody want to buy a ticket? Finance hub? Um, how do I find this stuff then? Operations. So, this is all my... Okay, commercial pricing. So runway usage, I can make a, I can charge them six hundred big ones. Terminal usage, fifteen. Save new prices. Runway fuel service. We don't have any of this just yet. So not really huge amounts of money, but it's money coming in on the least. Now this person's just walking around, has checked bag, and is carrying it. Now, these people, because literally they're carrying baggage. I wonder if that is the thing. So if I find the 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 desk where they can potentially bring a bag in. So, for example, if I placed it here. Let me build this because this will be interesting to find out. If the people that miss the plane are the ones who really want to... Oh, damn, we got loads of money for that plane there. Holy smokes. That was quite a bit of cash. Yeah, so I'm wondering if because of that... Staff... They didn't get on the plane. That, ma that makes sense. Everyone who didn't get on that last plane because they needed to check in a bag. So maybe I do need it from the get-go. It's just obviously... I don't have any conveyor systems and whatnot to kind of drop the goods. Ah, there we go. So it is a thing. I mean, I don't know where the bags magically disappeared to. But it looks like there's a lot of people right now. It's just the backlog that we have of people. So it's got quite a few passengers to get on board right now. Some of them are going to miss it. But it's only because we've got a huge backlog of people. In a normal world, they will be staggered quite nice. But it is showing you the kind of capacity that we're not running at. We are under capacity. Quite bad. We're not performing to our full potential. So let's get a few more of those up then. Um, ops. Ticketing desk. So I get two more there. So even if I did get two more in. You know, my security is also going to slightly suffer. But bam, 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 bam. I'll hire just one more for now. Security is looking like a little bit of a pain. So I have to try and uh, get some additional of this in right now. So ups again. We need the security... So it's a baggage scanner. There we go. Which we kind of have to do it like that. The whole thing has to be kind of slightly staggered. And then a metal detector here. I should really rotate all of this whole system. Make it, you know, a lot more easier for everyone to navigate it. But then it's like, at these moments right now, in the quiet period, I don't need that extra member of staff. Well, I do anyway. Because they can't get onto the plane otherwise. All them people have missed their flight because my gate agent decided to work on the ticket in checkout area. Oh, this is not a good start so far, is it? I feel like right now, though, we should be good to go. So any issues appearing, we should be able to handle them pretty easy. So we now do have some PM flights from EasyJet. So let me accept 
to three of them bad boys. So straight away there, straight away there, straight away there. So some late night flights coming in. Again, I don't know if we need to wait for the next day for it to all happen. But then saying that, is there any early morning flights? Not just yet. So we're waiting a while all over again. But gives us this time right now to kind of focus on what we kind of need to do. So not sure how those bags magically just disappear to the area. I'm not going to question it. But hey-ho, there you go. We're going to get a couple of more of these down. Because I notice there's a lot of people standing up waiting. So that would be kind of handy for them. Uh, we do need to get like bathroom areas set up. So, but, uh, announcement boards, last bit of information, helps prevent missed flights. So that will be kind of really, really handy. So it's a two way. Connects to an amplifier. This system f seems really, really expensive. So probably uh, uh, border calls, that's what it has for its uh, This HD version allows more speakers and gates, better quality and sound, indoors only. So if I just kind of threw it like here, for example, two-way speaker. So if I had like, you know, one there, one there just for now. I don't know how it works. I've never seen this before in this game before. So connect to you, and then obviously of course connect to you, and then uh, must be uh, in a functional electrical zone. Ah, so that would need then its own area in a way. So electrical zone, what's that? Wait. Minimum size 4x4. Four four. Right, I got you. So that technically can't be in this area. So I'll just dismantle it for just for now. I'll keep them um, things there. It needs its own separate room. But that is a headache for another day. That will be a headache for another day. But everyone's now rocking and rolling in. Everyone's able to kind of check in their baggage. They're able to go through security. They're able to come through here and sit down and chill. And then we're now just literally waiting for a plane. This one now arrives. So could this be our first successful plane? I've got to set up all the queues so people aren't like free, free roaming at all. And 48 people on board. The baggage is coming in, is now all done. That was our first ever successful plane to come in, guys. I have a functional airport. And on that note, I think we're going to end it here. If you did enjoy this episode, guys, and want to see more of it in the future, then make sure you do smash that like button down below. If you want more face cam, let me know. Just let me know in the comment section. But until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good. Bye.